Okay, in order to understand global warming, you have to understand something called the greenhouse effect. And I'm going to explain it, uh, but we're going to go step by step. I've got a mug of tea here. It's really hot. Um, but if I wait long enough, all that heat is going to escape out into the air, and it's going to be cold, and it'll taste horrible. So I put the lid on. That's going to keep it hot a lot longer. And it does that by trapping the heat. And the trapping of heat is the basic concept behind the greenhouse effect. But obviously, that's not the real thing. Now we're a step closer. We're inside an actual greenhouse, where sun comes through the glass windows and ceiling and warms up the air inside. The warm air can't escape, though, because it's trapped. So while it's 50 degrees outside, it's like 80 in here. I'm really starting to sweat a lot. But we're not quite there yet. OK, now we're ready for the real greenhouse effect. So this is the Earth. This is the sun. I actually flunked art, so I'll put a smiley face on it so you know it's the sun. Oh, and here's the atmosphere surrounding the Earth. Can't forget that. OK, so what happens is the sun sends out light, which goes right through the clear atmosphere, just as it did through the ceiling and the walls of the greenhouse, and it warms up the Earth. And the Earth responds by sending some of that heat back out in the form of infrared radiation. And some of that goes out to space. But there are molecules in the atmosphere of greenhouse gases. And when a ray of this infrared light hits one of them, that infrared is sent back. Some of it actually is sent out. But a lot of it is sent back to warm up the Earth even more. So that's all perfectly natural. What happens when we burn gas, oil, and coal, though, is that we add molecules of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So there's more than would naturally be there. It sends more heat back to the Earth, and the Earth warms up as a result. And that is the greenhouse effect. I'm outside now. It's a beautiful March day. It's maybe a little bit cool, but my tea is still hot. And because of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases that we're now putting into the atmosphere, this same day, 50 years from now, is likely to be noticeably warmer.